Hello! So, I've had a pretty crazy few months, and uh, the reason I haven't made a video like this since spring break is because I am currently uh, in the midst of performing my school's production of Hairspray, in which I play Link Larkin, which I don't think I've actually mentioned on here before, but that's happening. I'm here to talk to you about an awkward moment a few months ago, actually almost a year ago, I think, when I made a video called Coffee vs. Tea. Now, in that video, I tried coffee pretty much for the first proper time, uh, and the thing is, this is awkward, since then I've kind of gotten addicted to coffee uh, to the point where uh, I can't really stop drinking it, otherwise I don't function as well as I'd like to, and that's not good. Now, this is in fact uh, not just because of its addictive qualities. I really do enjoy drinking coffee. I like the taste of it. I like all the different varieties. I enjoy it as a cultural thing. I enjoy saying, hey, let's go out for coffee. I'm especially a fan of espresso-based drinks. That includes lattes, mochas. Oh, I love mochas. I'm not a huge fan of cappuccinos, but in any case. Now, this is made worse by a few things. One, my lifestyle in general is such a high-energy, fast-paced lifestyle. Like, I do so much in such a short period of time that I, if I don't have the necessary amount of energy, I can't get it all done. I am a highly energetic person just normally. Like even when I haven't had caffeine, when I'm in a good mood, I can still be energetic and productive, but when I'm not, I need that boost and I need that, that something to rely on. And that's what caffeine is, unfortunately for me. Now, at my job where I teach Taekwondo, before every single day of work, we go to Bean Around the World, because there's one in the same community center as our Taekwondo place, and we get a coffee, and we do that every single time. Now, also, of course, with this hairspray thing happening, I've needed that extra boost because I'm up literally from uh, 7 o'clock until midnight or 1. The problem with acting also is that it's such a high-energy activity that you have no choice but to exude everything, even like the reserves just stored everywhere. So now to prove how much of a hypocrite I am, I'm gonna make myself a cup of coffee on that machine that started this whole stupid situation in the first place. I'll be making my personal favorite today, Tim Hortons. So over the course of the past month or two, I've been thinking of ways to try to get off caffeine. Now it's not as easy as just saying, okay, I'm gonna stop drinking coffee. That's what I did this morning. I told myself I was not gonna have coffee in the morning and I was just gonna power through the day and not have the crash that generally comes with a cup of coffee early in the morning. Well, I went to calculus class first block and it was horrible. I, I was in just such a bad mood, all the negative emotions were amplified, and I just, I didn't want to be there, and I wasn't learning anything, really. So because of that, I actually had my friend Nathan go down to Starbucks or somewhere, I don't even know where he went, but it was very expensive though, and get me a mocha, <laughs> and bring it to me halfway through class. And it worked. I immediately felt better. I was excited even by the idea that I was getting coffee. That alone was enough to get me going. And then after that, I didn't stop there. No, no, no. I drove down to McDonald's during my spare, got a meal, and another mocha. So I've had two mochas, and plus I'm having that. Now, I'm only having that for the purposes of this video, so don't worry, I'm not that addicted. But keep in mind, I also have a near sold out show tonight uh, at the KME Theater and I need to do very well at it, and I need to be energetic and not in a bad mood. So we've established that just saying we're not gonna drink coffee anymore does not help. So, I mean, I can try all I want to make plans about how I'm gonna stop drinking coffee, but in reality, I'm not going to, and that's just cause I, I, it doesn't make sense in my lifestyle. And I think that's something, I just realized my robe is just kinda sitting there. So I think I just have to accept that coffee is a part of my life, and I just need to start not having multiple cups of And really the only step I can take is to start only having one cup of coffee every day and go from there. So that'll be my first caffeine goal for this video. I'm touching the lens. Hmm. So I want you guys now to tell me about your caffeine stories. I know we've had this discussion before, but now that we've established I'm addicted, what do you guys think? Are you having caffeine issues? Are you addicted to loose leaf tea, which I apparently am now? I have organic cold 911 and organic razzmatazz. I also have one called pink flamingo, and I recently finished one called, oh, what was it? Strawberry rhubarb parfait. Absolutely delicious. If you have advice for me, post it in the comments, and there is music stuff coming your way very soon. Now I'm going to enjoy this cup of coffee, and then head off to my play, where I'm going to be a handsome teenage pop star. Yay! Ugh.